Hey guys. So welcome to a new video. This is a weight loss update. Before I even get into this video, I'm sorry if the ring light is distracting. You can like literally see the circle in my glasses and it's driving me crazy. In future videos, I will try to figure that out because I'm sure it's really annoying, but I feel like certain videos aren't really about like, okay, look at me. It's more so like, listen to me. And that's, that's what this video is. So I have been putting off this video for a few reasons. I think the biggest one is the backlash. I honestly think it's really messed up that we live in a society where people judge you if you gain weight. You all get it. Um, being this size is not healthy. And a lot of people ask me like, am I part of the like body positive movement? And I feel like that's like a whole other discussion like the whole health at every size thing. I feel like I need to make a whole sit down video about that because I do have some thoughts on it, but it's just like impossible to look at me at this weight, at this size and be like, yeah, totally healthy at every size. Like, no, I'm not gonna sit here and say that there are people who are my size who aren't unhealthy because I don't know everyone in the world obviously like I don't I'm not part of like the 500 plus club although I will say uh if I had more friends that were my size I feel like it would help me I do have a few friends that I've met because of YouTube that are my size or even bigger and it honestly helps having people like there to understand okay I feel like I'm rambling wow so the reason why I have not made a weigh-in video is because I'm afraid of the backlash. I want my channel to be more about me and not always my body. I'm ashamed even though I shouldn't be ashamed. Ultimately, I should not be scared to come on my channel and talk about anything to do with my life, especially my eating disorder and my food addiction. I shouldn't have to live in fear that people are going to judge me. Everyone preaches about eating disorder awareness and mental health awareness until someone actually has mental health problems or an eating disorder and then they like literally get attacked. So I sat down the other day and I was like, what about me is a train wreck? And I really wanted to absorb that information and really focus in on why people are like, I watch you because you're a train wreck. The biggest things that my channel is revolved around is my weight and my indecisiveness and the cycle and all that. And you guys have to realize that all of those things that make me a train wreck is mental illness. I act the way I do because of mental illness. I'm indecisive because of mental illness. I am over 500 pounds because of an eating disorder. This entertainment that you're finding in my struggles is honestly disgusting. So the fact that I, as a human being with feelings, am afraid to come on here and talk about my weight to the people who are really here to learn my life story and to follow my life story, I'm afraid to share with you guys because there is a very big, large portion of you who are here to just attack. And you guys, uh, I hate saying you guys because I don't mean as a whole, but there are a portion of you who almost gets like high off of me gaining weight. And you can't say that I that's not true because I see the comments and I see the personal message that I get in private. Some people get off on me gaining weight. And I can't even tell you how many people have said I watch you because you're a train wreck. You can't say that and then also spread mental health awareness and eating disorder awareness and peace and love. Like you can't, you can't do the two. So yeah, I'm rambling. It's very clear as ever that I am just a bundle of nerves. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna put my weight right here. So as you guys can see, I have gained a good chunk of weight. Um, I'm now only down 30 something pounds when originally I was down 
over 91 or something like that. So I've gained a pretty big chunk of weight. I feel it all over my body in the way that I breathe, in the way that I do things. I feel absolutely disgustingly miserable. I can't even express how horrible I feel. I feel so horrible and I'm going to get tons of backlash and tons of hate about my weight gain and whatever you guys have to say to me I feel a million times more than you than you feel it I literally hate myself right now there's absolutely no way that you hate me or are disappointed in me or let down by me more than I am let down and hate myself I can blame it on a million different things. Having a hysterectomy, um, emotionally eating due to the fact that I can't have a kid. That has been so heavily on my mind lately that the fact that I can't carry a child has really, really messed with my mental health. Um, it's... That's a whole other topic. Um, I can blame the stupid estrogen that I have to take. I can blame my eating disorder and my mental health. I can blame all this stuff, which, you know, it does have a lot to do with the weight gain, but ultimately the only person I can blame is myself. There has to come a time when no matter what, no matter what's going on with you, you finally start to love yourself enough to be strong enough to beat this, to eat healthier, and to lose weight. I know this is going to sound stupid, but I didn't order takeout today. I didn't order takeout today. That's big for me because in the last over a year... I have had takeout every single day besides that week that I did Jenny Craig. Um, I order takeout every single meal practically, but I didn't today. And that for me is big. It's a big accomplishment. And I hope tomorrow I can say the same thing. Yes, you can eat out and lose weight and choose healthy options and work around whatever lifestyle change you're doing. but. Whenever I order something, I have to order multiples or the worst thing on the menu. And it's like, I sit there for each meal and I eat thousands of calories and point blank period. I have no restraint and I'm weak. I am weak. I'm weak. I physically feel like 99% of the time, I don't know how to say no. And I am truly working on that. I have completely deleted Uber Eats off of my phone. That was, oh my God. I feel like this weight is like off of my shoulders because now I can't order food at the click of a freaking button. Like it takes two seconds. Now if I want to order food, I have to look for the app in the, in the store. I have to download it. I have to put my information in again, like my card information. I have to put my address. I ain't, I ain't trying to do all that. Like I don't have the app at the tip of my fingers anymore and that honestly feels really great so every day i just need to take it day by day so i will be counting calories i need to focus on calories that is something i have focused on all day today um i actually have a new my fitness pal so if you guys want to add me on there you can and you can message me on there and we can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about um so it's Hello Honeydew. I'll put that right here. H E L L O H O N E Y D E W. Hello Honeydew. I'll also link it down below. So you guys can add me on there. I'm trying to do my best, like focusing in on calories, portion control, you know, choosing foods that are going to make me feel better and not make me feel sluggish and miserable like I do now. So that is my update. Um, I will be posting more videos regarding this topic, even though ugh. people are so rude when it comes to like weight loss and like food and eating and stuff. But then like 
when I stop uploading those types of videos. It's like the biggest one that people want to see. And it's like just this like vicious cycle and I just sometimes I just feel stuck. So I'm just gonna post and film what feels right to me. I don't really know what else to say. I have gained a lot of weight. I'm very, 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 very let down. I'm, I am very let down. <laughs> I have let myself down. It's not about anyone else. It's I have let myself down. Just to think about how amazing I felt just like five months ago and then versus how I feel now is like a complete 180 it's I feel horrible now I just have to work it and I have to be realistic and stop doing an all or nothing approach I mean it's that simple so I'm gonna stop rambling now because I feel like I could talk freaking forever but I hope that you guys enjoyed this update even though it's pretty sad, <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.